His diplomatic visit as Lord of the House complete, Serenoa returns to the Wolfort Domain. Safely within Glenbrook, Roland and Huet retire to Whiteholm in the Crown City. Alas, there is no time for rest in House Wolfort, as Serenoa soon finds himself swept up in preparations for his wedding to Frederica. Dragan, meanwhile, presides over the blasting of a new tunnel at the Grand Norzellian Mines. That should be the end of that bothersome bedrock. Investigate it at once. What in the name of iron? What is it? Do we require more explosives? No, Lord Dragan. You best come see for yourself. What the? It couldn't be. That settles the wedding program, then. We still must decide upon the wedding dress, however. Not we, Benedict. Surely the lady herself must decide. What do you desire, Frederica? I... well... Hadn't you mentioned wanting to dress in the Roselle custom for the ceremony? Then you'd best ask the Roselle about that. There's a Roselle village here in the Domain. I'm sure they'd make you a dress, if you asked. But what of the other nations in attendance? Surely Hyzant would not look kindly upon it. Lord Simon, is it true that you assisted the Roselle who fled Hyzant during the war, and that you then granted them asylum here? Aye, that is how the Roselle came to live within our domain. It was a source of great tension, but in the end, Lord Simon's perseverance prevailed, and a group of Roselle found new homes here. To this day, the Holy State demands they be returned to Hyzant, citing their goddess's teachings as justification. The roots of the conflict run deep. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect those who we have sworn to take under our wing. Should you choose to dress in the Rosellan custom, we shall stand behind you every step of the way. Is that so? Then... I see not how I could refuse such a kindness. I shall accompany you to the village. To tell the truth, I have never been there myself. It would be a good opportunity to get to know them to strengthen our bonds. As is your duty, my son. Roselle and custom it is, then. Let us depart at once to make the request. Aye, all of us. Ooh, I can't wait to see what they come up with. and welcome, Lord Serenoa and Lady Frederica. My name is Jerome. I bid you welcome on behalf of the Roselle. And congratulations on your engagement, as well as assuming lordship of your house. You have my gratitude. We hope you will continue to lend your support to House Wolfort. You have my word. I owe your lord father a great debt. Though even were that not the case, you are engaged to one of our own and Lady Frederica. 
few things could bring us more joy. We shall make the finest dress you have ever seen. On that subject, I have one humble request. I would like to incorporate this pendant into the design. The pendant you are never without. Tis one of a kind, left to me by my late mother. She was one of the Rosellen refugees who fled Hyzant during the war and found her way to Asfrost. In a twist of fate, she fell in love with the former Archduke, and thus was I born. In secret, of course. After I was born, she was sent back to Hyzant, where she met her end. I see why it never leaves you. Pray fashion the dress in this pendant's image. It shall be done, my lord. Let us delay no further. Lady Frederica, please step inside, that we may take your measurements. Thank you kindly. The measurements may take some time, Lord Saranoa. Perhaps you'd care to take a stroll and see the village while you wait. I'd very much like that. Thank you. Do you understand just how dangerous it is for a young prince to go gallivanting off on a whim? Punish me if you will. But if I hadn't gone gallivanting, I never would have learned the state of things outside our own kingdom. Oh? Well, if you are so interested in international affairs, then I have a fitting role for you to play. You will oversee the Grand Norzelian Mines. Father! It would be a privilege. I fear that punishment would provoke no reflection, and so I would rather put your energies to work for the kingdom. I shan't let you down, father. I am not blind to your feelings, my son. I understand that my methods vex you. Nevertheless, I ask that you stay out of harm's way and give me no reason to worry. 
Of course. Mining is grueling, thankless work. Show the miners the appreciation they deserve. I shall. You have my word. The necessary provisions have been arranged, Your Highness. You are to deliver them to Dragan. Father, may I bring Sarah... rather, Lord Wolfort? It is his job to oversee the operation, after all. And his closeness with Dragan may engender goodwill. I know you trust him a great deal, Roland. But I would remind you that his betrothal now binds him to Esfrost. You would do well to be wary of any move he or his house might make. So you share Franny's views on the matter. Nevertheless, Sarah Noah is a friend I could never hope to replace. A friend I trust no matter your opinion of him. Concerning words, your highness, House Wolfort must be subject to the same scrutiny as any other. <sighs> Roland. Bring these tidings to Gustadolf at once. Is that everyone? Good. I have important news for all of you. What you see before you is to be seized by the Duchy of Esfrost. You shall not speak of this beyond those in present company. Any who do will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But... Lord Dragan... Are not the resources we mine destined to be shared among nations? This matter is not up for debate. A discovery of this magnitude could reshape all of Norzelia. And so I ask this of you. Stand with me, as I lead this great realm into a new era. You risk much giving us these orders. I shall do exactly as you say. I thank you. I have already sent the Archduke a letter informing him of our find. When I am appointed Prime Minister, I promise to reward you all handsomely for delivering me such a boon. You are to be Prime Minister? Or Ambassador to Glenbrook, perhaps. Time will tell. Either way, with this I shall make my mark and do what neither father nor Gustadolf ever could. What news from Dragan, dear brother? I never dreamt our hypothesis would prove true. So you take him at his word? I have no choice. The spy I sent to shadow him corroborates his report. And? What are his demands? He wishes to be named Prime Minister in exchange for secreting it away to Esfrost. Negotiations with Glenbrook are in the offing, should I refuse. So he means to threaten you? He is stronger than I believed him to be. Certainly what he has uncovered is worth the price he asks. What would you do, were you me? Keep the secret safe, naturally. Did you not send a spy for this very reason? Surely expected this would happen. I did, and they have been issued emergency orders. Then leave the rest to me. I shall depart at once. How fortunate I am to have a brother who knows me so well. Ah, Dragan, you will rue the day you dared place Glenbrook beside me on the scales of your feeble judgment. I hand down the orders. Yield or be crushed beneath my heel. Dress measurements are finished at last. I applaud your patience. Is it exactly as you hoped? It is indeed. I can hardly wait to see it finished. 
I am glad to hear it. There you are. Prince Roland, and Huet besides, what brings you here? We were looking for you. We inquired around Castle Woolfort and heard you all had come here. Has something happened? Father has asked me to keep watch over the mines. Won't you join me? You scarcely need ask, of course. A wise course of action, seeing as you will be overseeing the mining operations. And we can present Dragan with the gifts we procured abroad. A fine opportunity to get to know the man better. He is quite talented, is he not? He is a man with grand visions for the future, that much is certain. I shall tell you more of him along the way. Then let us waste not one moment more. To the mines! I'll have the dress ready in time for the ceremony, my lord. You have my thanks, Jerome. Sarah Noah and Frederica journey to the Rosellen village so she may be fitted for her wedding gown. The young lord gains an unexpected moment of quietude while he waits. However, Roland soon arrives with orders from King Regna to inspect the Grand Norzellian Mines, where Dragan has made great progress. How will Gustadolf respond to my offer? I should think there's but one logical answer. Should he refuse for some reason, I will need Father's aid. I must apprise him of the situation. Lord Dragan, Prince Roland is here from the Crown City. What's this? Prince Roland and my friends of House Wolfort. To what do I owe the honor? Apologies for the sudden nature of our visit, Dragan. I have come on Father's orders to offer our sincere gratitude, as well as to observe the mining operation. Splendid! The miners will no doubt be heartened by Your Highness's presence. Does the mining continue apace? Indeed it does. There are no problems to report. And what of your trip abroad, Lord Serenoa? It was most enlightening indeed. We even brought something for you. I do hope it's to your liking. Authentic as frosty cheese. One of my favorites. We thought you might be in need of a taste of your homeland after so much time away. I have visions of this cheese in my sleep. You have no idea how happy this makes me. It is enough to see you happy. I am glad our deliberations were not in vain. Dragan, I believe it was you who said the future is in the hands of the ardent youth. We are of like mind. Let us shape the future together. Indeed, that future is close at hand. I suspect we will reach across the border and ask for your cooperation in due course. And I shall gladly assent. Yes, we eagerly await your offer. Now then, I was thinking I might examine the quarry. Wait, your highness! One of the tunnels caved in but a few days ago. I would advise against entering just now. Did you not assure us moments ago that the mining continues apace? The miners are working to repair the damage as we speak. It is simply too soon to allow you inside. Was it caused by a blast? It was, in fact. We were perhaps a bit overzealous in attempting to remove some of the bedrock. I had no idea your explosives were so powerful. How do you make them, anyway? I would love to tell you, Your Highness, but I'm afraid we must keep some of our secrets. What I can say is that salt is a vital ingredient. Surely you jest. I thought you'd be surprised. I could scarcely believe it myself at first. A gargantuan tome in the archives opened my eyes to the many uses for salt, beyond seasoning our daily dishes. And now I pass what I've learned to you, Lord Serenoa. 
as a token of my gratitude for your visit. The power of salt. Tis a compendium of my research on the uses of salt. I encourage you to peruse it at your leisure. I most certainly shall. Tis a most valuable gift. Fascinating indeed. I too would like to read it when you are through, my lord. I look forward to hearing your impressions. At any rate, I see the sun hangs low. Shall we save a tour of the mine for the morrow? Yes, perhaps that would be best. Yes, of course. I shall prepare entertainment and lodgings for your party at once. No word from below, you say? They haven't tried to flee, have they? No, sir. I've not seen a single soul emerge from the mine. Very well, then. I shall make contact with them myself. Was that...? It came from within! What is the meaning of this?! Soldiers, why are they at the mines? No. Did he see through my plot? Clear the mine. Leave no survivors. So this is how they respond. Those dogs! Understood. Protect Lord Dragan! I shall try my level best.
Let us feel our defenses. Good. Very good. I will end this. It's a fight you want. Ah! That seemed to do the trick. Time to take flight. Try this. Defeat is not an option. A wasted effort. Come at me! Rah! Maybe next time. Back at you! Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are healed. <sighs> Much appreciated. A wasted effort. <sighs> I fight for peace. Time for some research. I have your back. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Stay composed. Ready for more! Out! I need a healer. This'll hurt. Victory is within reach! I'll take this. I won't lose! Away with you! Did you see that? Defeat is not an option. Thought you had me, huh? Ha-ha! <laughs> this battle is ours. Goodbye! If it's a fight you want... Damn it! Let us pry out their weakness.
Let us reverse our Sorry to worry you. Impressed? That hit the mark. Come at me! You're in the way! Cool heads shall prevail. I will end this. <laughs> Too slow. Now then, to work. Your orders? Strike. This is the end. For victory. You don't stand a chance. For the honor of House Wolfort. This ends here! When did Gustadolf muster up such a force? But I know I am in the right. They will not take me so easily. If it's a fight you want, here I come. Yeah. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. You have my thanks. Let us pry out their weakness. This is our chance. Much appreciated. So, it falls to me. A cold wind blows. I've been waiting for this! Push on through! Allow me. I will end this. Too easy. Sheer goal! Be gone! You traitors! <laughs> Forward! Now I end this! Whence this quarrel among friends? 
What happened in Esfrost? <laughs> no one said nothing about Wolfort showing up. Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. Thank you. The hunt is on. Let us pry out their weakness. Let us steal our defenses. Splendid! Where was I? My turn. You won't escape. Suffer! Let me show you what I've learned. You won't beat me! Victory! Away with you! I see a path to victory. This must work. To work. Free. That didn't work. Your numbers dwindle. Keep pressing the attack. Victory is at hand. Shall we begin? Your wounds are here. My apologies. If it's a fight you want, but where shall we strike? Here I come. The battle is ours. Time to work. This'll hurt. Allow me. Come at me! What is the meaning of this? Why is Esfrost attacking the mines? Are they gonna melt down their own forges next? Incomprehensible. The miners have all been slain. How? How did it come to this? Lord Dragan, you know something of this, do you not? You've nothing left to hide. Talk. 
I underestimated him. I never thought he would go this far. Dragan! No! There are survivors. How dare you! Ugh. Stay with me, Trigan. Be strong. Forgive me. Had I but spoken the truth, it would not have come to this. I thought, at last, I could step out of their shadow. That I had the upper hand. Father. Father. Forgive me. Trigan! No! What in the world is happening? We can do not to set this right, my lord. Let us inform the king at once. Hail! Is Prince Roland among you? I have a message. Speak it now. Whitehome Castle is under attack, your highness. Tis the S. Frosty army. What in the... Damn it all! The hell is going on? Control yourself. At any rate, we must confirm exactly what has happened. Let us return to the kingdom. Frederica, my heart aches for you, but... We've no time. I know. I am with you. Would this did not fall to you, but alas. See to it the dragon receives a proper burial. Yes, my lord. Take care. The army has the crown city surrounded. Ah, a survivor. Kill him. There you are, fair Dragan. What a pity that your dreams of being Prime Minister shall be nothing more than that. Tell me, does it pain you? <laughs> Lord Thallus, a word. The entire regiment of assassins have fallen as well. This bodes ill. It matters not, so long as the miners have been slaughtered. Saves us the trouble of having to silence them. But, my lord... Enough. Dispose of our dead and be done with it. My brother will wish to hear that we did. Aye, my lord. Shall we bury Lord Dragan as well? No. Leave him to rot or fill the belly of some mangy cur. What?